guys, welcome back to my channel. Monica here. I hope you all are doing great. So, what are we going to learn in today's example? We are not going to learn any new thing in the flow. Instead, we are going to go to the basics of flow. Okay. So, some of you have reached out to me on LinkedIn and on YouTube comments as well that now we have confusion in this this, this topics. Okay. So, uh, we are going to clear out those topics first because those topics are very very essential in flow. Okay. So, before going any further in the flow series, we will go to the basics. Let me tell you first what are those topics and confusions that you guys have. Uh, the first was when to use a record variable and when to use a collection variable. What is the difference between them? What is the difference between record and record collection variable? And another was uh, when to use a text variable and when to use a record variable. Okay, so these kind of confusions you guys have. Uh, some of you will say that this is very simple, very easy, but I know some of you have confusion in that. So we will clear out that and then we'll go uh, further in the flow series. Okay, so that is it. That is today's example. But before that, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, uh, click on the subscribe button below. It will be awesome. And then we'll drive straight into the video. So let's just start our flow and uh, learn about these basic things which uh, needs to be clear before we go forward. Okay. Okay. So just for example, we are taking a screen flow and we are making it free form. Okay. So the first question is that uh, when to use record variable and when to use a text variable. So first of all, let's take a variable new resource uh, here we'll choose variable mm -hmm. record variable okay so here are the data types let me tell you all the data types which is text record number currency boolean date date time pick list multi select pick list and apex defined okay but what we use the most is text and record okay and sometimes we use a uh, date time or number right but uh, the question is about text and record so we'll talk about that so if you want to just take it in a simple term uh, if we are writing our code in apex right so if you want to uh, take a variable to add a text value to it like add name to it okay so what we'll take we'll take a variable we'll take a string variable a single text variable okay so that is just same in a flow you don't have to be confused if you want to save a text if you want to save a string you will take a text variable okay so for example uh, let's say we will take a text variable and in this we will write the value which will be say text variable value okay uh, another thing what we can do is uh, in the record detail page in if we are at case detail page if we are at account record detail page okay and I have told you how you can get the account record ID how you can get the case record ID with just a single variable which is record ID so if you are uh, if your flow is at account detail page and if you want to fetch that account you just need to add a variable resource type with the api name record id and the data type will be text now the question is why the data type text because we are taking a record id but that record id is just a text is just a string okay so to save a string we have to take a text variable that's why a text variable uh, i hope this is clear to you and in this we don't have to add a default value and we will click on done so that is a text variable basically if you want to save any string any kind of text in a variable to use uh, further in your flow you will take it in a text variable okay now let's move forward to a record variable okay so let's take an example of apex again if you want to fetch a uh, let's say you have an id okay you are at account detail page you have the account record id now what you want to do you want to fetch that account uh, objects all fields with the base of that record id okay so if you want to fetch anything from uh, the objects in salesforce okay that will be a record that will be a record with lots of fields okay so if uh, you want to fetch a record with lots of fields you will take a record variable okay uh, let's create an example let's take variable account record and data type will be record 
so here you will see when you will select the data type record it will ask you which object okay let's say we will uh, type account object okay so now what will happen is in this record variable you can save any record of the account object any one record of the account object because this can say only up to one value okay so this is why this is called record variable because we are fetching a record from the object in salesforce to our flow okay so that is the difference in both the variables if you want to add a text a simple string a record id or anything uh, that is just a string we will take a text variable on the other hand if you want to fetch a record from the object in salesforce what i mean with record is uh, an account record contact record or any other custom object record with a lot of fields okay so if you have a record to fetch with a lot of fields you will get a record variable and then you will select the object uh, from here and then you will get the record in that variable but if you want to get just a text you will take data type text that is simple okay that is very very simple you just have to be clear in your head and then you will be good to go okay now the second example the second example is when to use a single record and when to use a record collection variable that is just so simple i don't know why you guys are confused but if you are confused, I will explain to you that is not a problem. Let's say uh, this is a record variable. This is a single record variable. Okay. So uh, what do you understand? Just uh, give me an example. Like what do you understand when I say a single record variable and a collection of variable? What do you think of it? A single record variable will be containing a single record and a collection of record variable will be containing collection of records. Let's say let's take an example of epics again if you want to fetch one record what we'll write is account equals to and then select query with limit one okay so that account will contain only one record but if we want to fetch uh, multiple records what we'll take is we'll take list of records right so the list of record is a record collection variable i think now it will be simpler for you to understand so if you want to take a single record you will take a single record variable if you want to take a list of records right uh, the way we take in apex the list of accounts list of contexts that way we will take record collection variable okay so let me just show you <clears throat> for example this is the account record variable okay so this is a record variable which will contain a single account record but what will happen uh, just suppose if we have a loop in this okay let me take a loop uh, example one second okay so let's take this example this is a deep cloning example uh, in this what we are doing is we are getting the context then we are we are going to uh, loop through the context after the loop the like every time the loop will occur it will assign the value of the loop to a variable okay so here we are assigning the values to a variable which is where new contact this is a variable record type variable for uh, saving the contact value okay but now what will happen is like this loop will go again here just ignore this one this loop will go again here and after this this will go again to this and it will just overlap the contact variable right it will just overlap it with the second value with the latest value but what we can do is we can take a collection variable as we have done here we have taken a collection variable which is where new contact call this is a a collection variable for contact and what we'll do is once the loop will add the value to this contact variable we are adding this contact variable to the collection variable so here what are we doing is we are just saving the single record value to a collection record value okay so like first time the loop will occur the single contact will go to the collection second time the loop will occur the single contact will add to the collection to the second row okay it will not overlap the one so that is the use of collection variable if you want to add more than one record to a collection you will use a collection variable okay so that is it i hope that will be clear to you let's uh, 
do a recap right now uh, first was what is a record variable and what is a text variable if you want to add a simple string a simple text to a variable if you want to save a simple record id to a variable you will take a text variable instead to fetch a record from object to a variable you will take a uh, you will take a variable of record type okay now the second thing was when to use a single record variable when to allow it to become a multi record variable it's very simple if you want to save a single record you will take a single record variable if you want to save or collect a multiple records a list of record a list of contact object list of account object you will take a collection variable okay so that is it that is today's example it was not an example it was just for information okay i hope this topic is clear to you and uh, I know this is a very basic example at this point but this was very very important for some of you. So that is all for today. I'll see you super soon in my next video. Till then bye bye. Take care and keep learning.